so if you're anything like me and you've been working with C++ in Unreal Engine, you keep telling people C++ is not actually that hard because Unreal Engine provides you with a garbage collector, which kind of nullifies the biggest problem with normal C++, the fact that it doesn't collect garbage for you. But if you've been working with it a little bit, you might have run into an issue where it collects stuff that you don't actually want it to garbage collect, like I did with this puzzle. So I've, I've got this little like pipe puzzle here, which uh, still uh, doesn't quite function fully, but every single one of the pieces in here has a concept of being either turned on, like when they're lit up like this, or turned off. They also all have references to their neighboring pieces. So this piece over here has references to this piece, and that piece, and that one, and that one, and so on and so forth. Every single one has all of those. I spent way too long debugging why things weren't working and things were generally crashing uh, without realizing that the reason that I was running into these issues is because those values, all of those values that I just talked about, were being garbage collected by Unreal away from me. So I set them to whatever value they needed to be, and then when I tried to read them, they were either no longer there, or they were, in the case of the bool here, whether or not they were active, they were just being set to false, the default value of zero. So, let's take a quick look at the stupidly easy way to solve this. This is just something that you need to be aware of, and once you are aware of it, you'll never make this mistake again. So here we have the header file for those components. Every single one of those pieces is a component in and of themselves. And I've got some stuff like a enum for the directions and stuff, and a, a struct here that holds the neighboring pieces, which I just talked about. That's all well and good, but this is where we get into the actual important stuff. And that is these uh, things that we have here. These are references to the pieces on every single side. These are the neighboring pieces. And you will note that I marked them all as a U property, but I didn't actually put like an edit anywhere or visible anywhere or anything along those lines in there. And that is because I didn't need that, but I did need it to mark as a U property because marking something as a U property when it's a member variable of your class prevents Unreal from garbage collecting it as long as the object is still around. So this is quite important to realize. If I remove this, Unreal sometimes quite often, actually, we'll just assume that, hey, you're probably not using the value in this variable anymore. I'm just going to garbage collect that because it's taking up memory and you're not actively doing anything with it. So adding just a MTU property to that will tell Unreal like, okay, maybe you're not using it right now, but I do need to keep this around because it could potentially be used in the future for as long as this object lives. Now, when you destroy this object, of course, this does just properly get disposed of and garbage collected and all that kind of stuff. So the same thing we did here. This is just a simple bool that sets this piece as being active. So when another piece asks this piece, hey, are you active? It can tell yes or no, I am active or not. That is a value that isn't getting actively used all of the time. So Unreal assumes, hey, you're not going to actually need that. And... Uh, for like a lot of values here, that is true, because the B is end piece, this only really matters on construction. I need it to be a member variable because I want to set it on a pure component basis uh, through just like UI stuff, but the moment the gameplay starts, I don't need to hang on to this value, so it can get garbage collected, I don't care about it. This thing, B is selected, I wanted to make this short video, it's a real short video, I know, uh, because I didn't actually talk about this in the C++ course that I made a while ago, and I'm not entirely sure why. But I ran into this very issue uh, the other week when making this puzzle, and I figured I never made any videos on this topic, and this seems like something that is important for people to know. So I'm going to append this into the C++ course playlist at the very end as well, so everybody can be aware of this being a thing. And a very big thank you to all of my Patreons. You can see them on screen right now. If you want to help out supporting the channel, there's a link down below in the description to the Patreon page. And a special thanks to my Cave Digger tier Patreons, Sergey Thomas, 